Hi. So now as we have finished the basics of probability, we'll look at some more advanced questions on probability. For example, look at this question. Uh, there's a bag which contains four green, three red and two blue balls. Okay. And we have to find the probability that the ball which is drawn at random from this bag is red. Now, a bag contains in all four green, three red and two blue that is nine balls. So I can say there are nine different options to choose from. So your sample space will contain nine elements that is n of s is equal to nine. Okay. Now once you're done with the sample space we look at what is the event which is asked. The event which is asked is we need exactly a red ball. So how many red balls are there in the bag? that's 3. So n of a number of elements in event a will be 3 and probability of a as you know that will be 3 by 9 that is 1 by 3. Okay. Now we'll just modify the question a little bit. Uh, we have the same bag same number of balls this time two balls are drawn at random okay? and we have to find the probability that both are red. Now we have to draw two balls. Now the question is to be solved using the combination. Now your sample space this time we have to draw two balls from 9. So n of s will be 9 c 2 in all 9 balls and 2 are to be selected from 9. So that gives you 36 and we need exactly two red balls. Total red balls are 3 and we need to select two from them. So the number of elements in the event n of a will be 3c2 which is 3. Now the probability of event a will be 3 by 36 that is 1 by 12. This is how we solve probability using combination. So now we will have a look at some questions which are based on conditional probability. Now have a look at this question. There is a bag which contains 3 red and 4 blue marbles and two marbles are drawn at random, we have to find the probability that if the first marble drawn is red, then the second marble is blue in color. Okay? Now there are two events which are happening. The first event that the first marble which is drawn is red in color and the second marble which is drawn is blue in color. Now when the blue marble is drawn, we have already drawn a red marble from the back. So the number of ball has decreased, right? So the probability of the second event depends upon the probability of the first event. So this is called as conditional probability and such events are said to be dependent events. Okay. Now we we'll look how to find out the probability. Now the probability that the first marble drawn is red in color. That is simple. That is 3 by 7 because there are total 7 marbles and 3 red marbles are there. Now the probability that the second marble is blue in color. Now we have already drawn a marble from the back. So the number of marbles is 6. Okay. And from that we have to draw a blue marble and number of blue marbles is 4. So the probability of drawing a blue marble when the red marble is already drawn we indicate it by probability of b by a there is conditional probability is given by 4 by 6. So the final probability that the first marble is red and the second marble is blue is given by simple multiplication of probabilities 2 by 7. Okay? Now we we'll look at another question of this type. There is a bag which contains 5 green and 7 yellow pencils. We have to find that if two pencils are drawn, both the pencils are of yellow color. Okay? Now, the probability that the first pencil drawn is of yellow color is 7 by 12. There are 7 yellow pencils and total 12 pencils are there. Once the pencil is drawn, now the bag contains just 11 pencils. Now the second pencil drawn is also need to be also needs to be of the yellow color. Right? So now there are 6 yellow pencils from 11 total pencils. So the probability of drawing the second pencil which is yellow in color is 6 by 11 and the final probability is their product. Okay? 
Now, such type of events are called dependent events where the events depend upon each other. The second event depends upon the first event. Now, we will consider some more complex question. For example, if I consider this question, uh, there are two bags which contain two green and four red balls. The other bag contains three green and two red balls. Now, the question is, one of the ball is selected from the first bag and put it into the second bag and we have to find the probability that the ball selected from the second bag is red. Okay. So, our first condition is that we need to select one of the balls from here and put it into the second bag. Now, there are two cases. The first case, uh, if we select one of the ball from the first bag, that could be green or red. So, the first case we will consider if it is a green ball which is selected. Okay? Now, the first bag contains two green and four red. Now, if we select a green ball, what is the probability of selecting a green ball? Which is 2 by 6. Okay? And once the ball is transferred to the second bag, the second bag which already contained 3 green and 2 red balls will now become 4 green and 2 red balls. Now the probability of selecting a red ball from this will be 2 by 6. Now if you multiply both the probabilities, we will get what are the chances or what is the probability of selecting a red ball if a green ball is transferred. Exactly in the same way, in the second case, we need to transfer the red ball from the first bag to the second bag. Now, what are the chances of selecting a red ball from the first bag? It is 4 by 6. Okay? So, this is the probability that we select a red ball and red ball is transferred to the second bag. Now, the second bag will contain 3 green balls and 3 red balls. Now, what is the probability of selecting a red ball from there? That is 3 by 6. So, if you multiply both of these, we will get the probability of selecting a red ball if a red ball is transferred. Now we have solved these two different cases. So finally the probability of selecting a red ball from the second bag is given by the addition of these two cases. Okay? And the final probability will be this. So this is how the probability is calculated. Now we will look at an example where the events are independent of each other. For example look at this question. The probability of A, B and C hitting the target is 3 by 4, 1 by 2 and 5 by 8. Okay? Now, if A hits the target, it is not necessary that B misses the target or B hits the target. right? So, the probability of B hitting the target does not depend upon whether A hits it or A does not hit it. So, these are called as independent events. Okay. Now look at the question which is asked. In this question, we have to find the probability that exactly 1 hits the target. Now, exactly 1, we don't know who should hit the target, but someone, just exactly one person should hit the target. So there are three different cases which can be found out here. A hits the target and B and C misses the target. B hits the target and A and C misses the target. And C hits the target and A and B misses the target. Now, the complement, complement of a set indicates that they miss the target. Now, it is already given that the probability of A hitting the target is 3 by 4. So, probability of A missing the target will be 1 minus 3 by 4, which is 1 by 4. Okay? In the same way, the complement of all the probabilities to be found out first and then we will substitute in each and every case. For example, the first case, the probability of A hitting the target and B and C missing the target is given by 3 by 4, A hits the target, B misses the target, B complement, that is 1 by 2, and C misses the target, it is the complement of 5 by 8, which is 3 by 8, and the product gives the probability. In the same way, we will find out the probabilities of all the three cases, and finally, as there are different cases which are solved, the final probability is the addition of all these cases. Okay, so this is how we find probability when the events are independent.